Alright guys, we're here for another part of this head sculpting tutorial. So, uh, this is where we got in the last part. Just going to get our grab tool here and bring in this jaw just a little bit right around there. Now let's go ahead and add another uh, level here. And you can see we're getting a little bit uh, slow now. And I remember uh, seeing something. A way to make it a little bit faster is to turn off double sided faces. That way it's not uh, calculating all the faces. Yeah, that did speed it up. So, let's keep going. Let's go ahead and refine these lips here. Pinch. Go ahead and just pinch that like so. Going to draw and... Oops, let's bring this cat, this uh... Part here, let the lips join. <laughs> I think we might have messed it up there. Hmm, let's see how we should approach this. Just right there. We're gonna go ahead and pinch it. Yeah, that's looking better. And then we'll go ahead and pinch this here as well. Let's go ahead and scale this up here and pinch uh, this. Like so and we'll grab it and move it over. Go ahead and smooth this part out. Uh, when you, you'll notice that when you get up to higher levels it won't smooth as good and that's because uh, they're a lot closer. The vertices are closer so there's not as much uh, average to smooth out. Okay. Smooth, just smoothing. <laughs> it looks kind of weird right now, so let's gonna bring this in like so. So it looks. Let's just try to make it really as natural as we can. Yeah, that's looking better. Yeah. All right, here, smooth that out right there. And this is a sculpt, so we're not, it's not going to look as natural as it could. It's going to grab this, bring it in. Now his, the back of his cranium here, it's too big. I can see that. Uh, let's hold, I'll hold Control and press one to get a back view here. Let's go down in, in uh, levels just a little bit. Let's, let's round it off a little more. Actually, let's bring it in. So it was looking a little bit like an alien for a second. Alright, let's gonna smooth here and just smooth all this out. Sorry if you see some artifacts like that sometimes. Alright, let's go back up. Now we can go ahead and add that uh, line here. It's gonna draw. Strength this up how I want. Okay, so uh, actually, first let's let's keep going on this nose here. Actually, let's press F here, and we'll go ahead and just let's bring in this uh, his nose holes, his uh, nasal passages out a little better. Bring that part out. Bring this here. Let's grab and bring this down. Bring this out. here. Okay, I was going to draw. We'll uh, fix this. Looks a little weird now, but we need to get the impression first. So bring this in here like so. Now we're going to pinch it together. Smooth it out. And we're not going to make it uh, too detailed because um, 
we still have to we're gonna have to remodel everything once in the retopology part of this tutorial or of this long series so let me bring this out here and make it look a little more let's go ahead and smooth this again it doesn't look very natural at the moment I personally prefer sculpting over polygon modeling. It's just a lot more fun. But sometimes polygon modeling gives you just a little bit more control over what you want to do. But sometimes it can go a little hay haywire. Okay, so now that we have that, actually bring the nose up some. Hmm. I just, uh, I really want to move the nose without making it too deformed. Okay. Let's go back into draw here and uh, let's bring this back out. Move that out again. Okay, so now what I originally wanted to do is a uh, shift and we're gonna bring a line right there like that that's the uh, a lot almost every adult has this it's uh, a line you get from smiling or frowning too much and I learned um, this actually people uh, tend to forget this a lot and I learned that from um, a book called stop staring and it's a really great book on facial animation and modeling so I suggest picking that up if you uh, want to make some nice faces and facial animations. We're just going to pinch that as we've been doing. Mm -mm. See we get this weird stuff but there's nothing we can't do with smoothing. And you need to uh, understand that right now we have very very poor topology. So uh, that's what retopology is for, is to retopologize it to have proper animatable topology. Smooth. Let's see how that looks like on layer 5. Alright, looks good. But we need to fix some stuff here. We need to make it a uh, Because it kind of concaved it a little bit, so it looks like he has food in his mouth though now. So I'll just in his cheeks, bring it in and like so a little bit. His mouth is too high up. I see. Yeah. back into smooth here and just uh, smooth this out. So I'm going to see what are we on, on time. We're almost done with this part. Let's go that down like so. One more thing, real quick, because I uh, don't want to go over the time limit. Accentuate that a little more, because we're going for an older person. Okay. So, that is it for this part of the head sculpting tutorial. And uh, in the next part, we will try and bring in the impressions of his ears. Alright, so thanks for watching. Alright, guys.